It has been mm -hmm. one year to the day uh, that Matthew Perry tragically died uh, in his hot tub uh, at his home in Los Angeles. And his family has spoken a little bit about it, but now they have come together a year later to talk about Matthew, to talk about their impressions of what he was going through yeah. and the consequences that they feel that some of the people involved in this uh, should be responsible right. for. Right, and that I think they, they hope that drug dealers in general uh, are getting a, a warning after what happened to Matthew and the suspects that have been brought to justice already and others that are in the process. But what's really interesting here is what his family, his mother, uh, his three of his sisters, uh, his stepfather, uh, Keith Morrison also, all sitting down to talk about what Matthew was going through and what their impression of Matthew was in the months leading up to his death. Uh, this was really interesting to hear from all of them. When he passed, did, did you think he's sober? He's still we, yeah. on his path. It appeared to us as if he was. Uh, not to you. It certainly looked, seemed like it to me. Although, you know, he was a guy who would make decisions. I can handle this. I can do this. I can tell you what's right. I know the whole system inside and out. I know what the drug will do to me. And uh, so there was that worry that, mm, what's, he, what's he really doing? I don't even know if in his mind he had relapsed. That's interesting. I don't think he did. He yeah. didn't. What do you think about the fact that there has been some accountability there? I'm <laughs> thrilled. I'm thrilled. thrilled. What I'm hoping, and I think the agencies that got involved in this are hoping, that people who have put themselves in the business of, of supplying people with the drugs that will kill them, that they are now on notice. It doesn't matter what your professional credentials are. You're going down, baby.